Hey guys, this is Wheelchair12345. I recently got a comment asking how to update your custom firmware. Well, it's basically like the normal one. You can do it through the network update or you can do it through the update folder on your PSP. I will show you many ways. And yes, I have my MAC address there. I don't really care. Use it. Um, anyway, let's get started. First, what you need to do is download the stuff on your right in the description. You have to download the update and drag and drop it into your game folder. Next, when you've done that, what you need to do is go in game. Once you've already dragged and dropped the update into the game folder, I will give you the files and the folder provided that you need to put it in. Just drag and drop it in the game folder and you're good to go. Now what you need to do is press X. It'll say unpacking and done, please wait at the top. It'll fade away if you have less than 78% of battery life. It'll return you back to the XMB. Um, other than that, it's pretty basic. Just follow what's on the screen. Okay, what you want to do here is press X. If you want to exit and you don't want to update, press R. So just press X. And it'll say starting CE updater, please wait. Alright, I'll show this screen here. What you want to do is press X, like a normal update. It will take a minute to load. What you want to do is press over and accept. Press over again, and press X to install. Since I'm using a camera, I can't really skip forward on here, so I'm not really going to skip forward. You guys are just going to have to wait this one out. Feel free to fast forward if you'd like. It's just the installation. Whatever you do, don't remove your memory card, your battery, or disconnect the AC adapter if you have one in. Because it will result in a brick. And it's a pain to get rid of. Time to just grab a drink, uh, go to the bathroom if you need to, uh, watch a movie or something. Once it gets to about 84%, it'll shoot up to 100, so just gonna leave it as is. I normally would do this with remote joy, but you guys can't see what I'm doing. I can't guide you through uh, updates using remote joy. So I decided to do it on my camera. I've got it on the best setting possible. Hopefully it's clear enough for you guys to see. Alright, it'll soon shoot up to 100% soon. Yeah, don't worry about that, my UMD drive is broken.
Alright, it's complete. Now what you want to do is press X to start your PSP. The restart. Mine will shut down for some stupid reason. I don't know why. But yours will restart. Mine won't. Shut down already. There we go. Alright. Now that it's back on. Right, what you need to do now is go over to system settings. I'm just going to show you guys that I did it. In fact, update my PSP. There it is. 5.00 MP3 negative 6. That's how you update your PSP, guys. If you have any further questions, just let me know. I'll be glad to help. I don't care if I have my MAC address again. I really don't find any, uh, any reason to have it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you again next time.